yeah so now let's quickly do a hands-on session for XSLT demo and how to use XSLT uh, mapping uh, in the existing environment so I have a uh, integration package already created and here is an artifact with hello world name let's edit it Here is the one uh, it is already created uh, so I will just walk you through for whatever steps that are required for doing um, an XSLT change mapping so once you click on edit use a content modifier that is available in our uh, transformation package content modifier drag and drop on the uh, start and end and then use a mapper uh, that is XSLT mapping in content uh, modifier what we have provided is we have used the message body uh, with the constant and there is a food menu so breakfast menu uh, with food name price description calories all these details uh, into multiple nodes we have provided in as an input was that uh, this message will be passed to the next activity that is XSLT mapping in that what we have done is we have used a mapping document uh, we that we have created under mapping so you can just select so if you have already uh, added in the resources or you can create a new one and uh, you can provide that mapping so let's let's open it for now here so you will see what what details it have right uh, it automatically creates a resource uh, resource section you will see uh, what I want to do is I want to convert the current XML into an X, uh, HTML page and uh, it, it need to be divided into multiple menu uh, with different tabs right for all the uh, values calories and all uh, the systems like it, it will provide the font margin details and everything in the XSLT format now now if you want to modify this you can add an uh, add additional details here but for now let's cancel it we don't want to change anything and how to run it is let's uh, try a new method quickly we can just click on the input method uh, sorry uh, input mapping and here is sorry uh, you can just right click on the options here if you come to the mapping you can just start uh, simulation so simulation start point and simulation endpoint you have to add it here and then uh, you will see a button is enabled now which says run the simulation by by running this simulation uh, it will trigger the service get the content uh, modifier message and send it to XLT and provide it in the response so now uh, simulation is running you will see a simulation completed successfully message and here you will see a small message boxes will appear in all the tracks and you can just click on them and see the body and the message what what it is being passed so from start we have not passed anything but from content modifier you will see there will be body message which will be our input xml here the same one which we was provided in the content modifier and in the response you will see the actual value so it will take the content modifier uh, request and apply the XSLT on it and provide a body response so now if you copy this HTML tag and just render it out so what we can do is there is a HTML rendering so once I put uh, the input uh, here you see this is the page it created so with all the menu uh, it is provided with the XSLT with all the colors and the description for for it okay so yeah that would be it for this one and now uh, let's quickly check so uh, you now know like how to run the process from here uh, you can just now save it so this is how we can test the process directly from the uh, 
artifact itself using and now uh, let's quickly create one more uh, artifact to now what we want to do is convert our CSV file into an XML let's see how, how we can do it so go back to editing the same integration package okay click on add integration flow CSV to XML demo Now let's edit this. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's edit this. I will place a content modifier as my I don't want to pass the CSV from sender. We will just have a constant value directly loaded in the code. So let's put a constant here. I have this body with page uh, semicolon separated page A, B, C, D like that. So all these details are there. This is my header in the CSV file. Next, I will use a mapper, sorry, uh, a convert uh, transformer, which, uh, which is a converter from CSV to XML, right? Let's place it here now what we need is we will need an xsd to parse the csv in the set format right so for that we have to pass an xml schema here there are two ways to do that one is to select it from here if there are no uh, schema already present in the project you have to upload the file system from directly from here or you can directly add the resources in the resources tab so let's do in in a shortcut way so just click the select upload the file i have already created a test.xsd which is basically a xsd to generate the xml for it and if you uh, if i open it the xsd from here okay, let me show you under resources you will see that resources is added that resource is added now and you can also edit it from here itself if you want to make any changes to it so basically it has a root element and rows for each and every uh, line of code okay cancel it now going back to my converter i will just need to provide the root and the rows for it root slash row and the record marker need not to be populated we will just put our semicolon as a field separator and i can exclude or include the header so let's exclude it okay now to run this quickly uh, i will save the code and put the simulation in action here are the simulation start point end point run so if everything is correctly set up you will see so there is no message here because there is nothing we are getting from the sender we have content modifier which has body of like all these uh, four lines and here is the response message under which you can see the body uh, have all the root and uh, inside every row there is page page detail project name index similar way there is a second row third row so all these details passed so you have successfully converted a CSV into an XML.